You know how big it is, baby. Launching her new record label. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Crazy. My character. Nah, I'm down with the whole heart. We're here at the Kodak Theater in Highland, California for the fourth annual BET Awards. For the last four years, BET has honored some of the nation's top black entertainers. Once again, Monique is hosting a star-studded event, which will culminate in plenty of parties all over Hollywood. As a matter of fact, it's time for me to check out what I'm going to wear for the show. But my colleague Stephanie Frederick is checking on Media Day. Stephanie, how's that going? CBS 2's Enrique Correa is live in the newsroom with the details. Enrique? Cindy, Tupac Shakur, Notorious B.I.G., and Jam Master J all unsolved murders. Today, heavily armed police in California went searching for evidence that could lead to the killers. The Osbournes is another reality show on MTV, which has done very well in the ratings. But will people tune in to see P. Diddy on a weekly basis? For 17 seasons, Patrick Ewing was a member of the NBA. For 15 of those seasons, he played right here at Madison Square Garden as a member of the New York Knicks. And now that Patrick is officially retired, he plans on being an assistant coach with the Washington Wizards, and he'll be working with Michael Jordan. CBS 2's Enrique Correa is back at his post in LaGuardia Airport with the story. Good morning, Enrique. Good morning, Lou. It's going to be a very, very busy day here at LaGuardia Airport. The lines are very, very long. They start behind me, then they loop around the bend here. Let me show you how long these lines are. Jackie, this year marks the fourth annual BET Awards, but people are still talking about previous shows that left quite an impression. The chase scene in the Italian job with the Mini Coopers was so spectacular, I had to check out this car for myself. As you can see, this car is easy to park. In New York City, I'm Enrique Correa reporting for BET Nightly News. Yeah, right, Enrique. <laughs> Somebody got into our heads with, 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 with big steel toe boots, uh, 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 cable cutters, and a chainsaw, and they went to town. Neurons it's an unthinkable got, got, got conspiracy got that takes place during an election year, a plot to put a brainwashed war hero into the Oval Office. The Manchurian Candidate is a modernized version of a 1962 masterpiece. When I read the script, I really liked the script. I was told that it was original made, you know, before I read it, but I never looked at it. Once I decided I was going to do it, I knew I didn't want to look at it because I didn't want to be affected by it. I wanted to, we were making a new movie. See what I mean? Yeah, I get it. They're big, they're huge, they're, 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 they're gigantic. I can't touch them, I get it. I don't want Manchurian to. Candidate is a hazy reflection of our current political climate. Perfect timing, says the director. If you're going to do a picture, um, uh, an, an unhinged, paranoid, um, uh, totally freaked out thriller mm -hmm. set against a backdrop of a presidential election, Enrique, I can't imagine a better time to come out than right now. And one of the highlights of the movie, I finally made my Hollywood debut. Why did you and Governor Arthur oppose deploying troops into Indonesia? Well, uh, Governor Arthur and I believe we can't clean up the world with dirty hands. Shot and shot. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now, <laughs> I saw you. You saw my big head on That big head, head jumping forward. I thought I didn't know that. Answer. No, I didn't know. You're a big guy. I know you're a big star. I, know you're, you're I was right next report. to you all you day. Right all Thank day. you. I'm in your movie. No. I was an extra in that scene in your movie. Yeah, right. All jokes aside, Denzel's new movie is now in theaters nationwide. In New York, I'm Enrique Correa reporting for BET Nightly News. This holiday weekend, the Hamptons was the place to be. The 4th of July was celebrated hip-hop style, where some of the biggest names in the game took Independence Day to a whole new level at the PlayStation 2 estate. I mean, this is a beautiful scene. You know how big it is, baby. It's a beautiful thing. It's huge. The holiday weekend kicked off with heiress Paris Hilton launching her new record label and album, Paris is Burning. Then the party heat went way up at Jay-Z's party for his new S. Carter tennis shoe. You're wearing them right now. And they look smooth. I mean, they're not even forced to anything. That's not forced. That's just, it just happens like that, right? And for the sixth year, P. Diddy held his annual white party. By now, the social event of the summer in the Hamptons. But this time, it wasn't just a party. There was a message, too. 
Vote or die in 2004, y'all. Vote or die. Diddy announced his citizen change campaign, which he and Russell Simmons hope will get young people to the polls. This initiative that he's going to take on is, is, going, to, is going to actually help to pick the president. And uh, I think that young people love and respect and trust Puffy, certainly more than they do George Bush, or even John Kerry for that matter. We are going to motivate, we're going to educate, and we're going to empower the 35 million young people and minorities in America. The White Party was also helping people to get registered, but if that wasn't enough, the ultra-exclusive party also featured the original Declaration of Independence. Not only did Puffy start Citizen Change, he also has a special announcement that he's keeping very secret, and he'll let us know on July 12th exactly what it is. Until then, we'll have to wait and see. In the Hamptons, I'm Enrique Correa reporting for BET Nightly News. Will Smith is at it again. This time, the action star is a Chicago police detective saving the world from an army of robots. 20 years into his career, and he raises the bar yet again. What, what can this, what do he don't do? Bringing new life to Isaac Asimov's world of science fiction, Big Will is likely to make this collection of short stories into one big screen hit. You got a funny name in this one. Oh, funny, yeah, Del Spooner. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, listen, you, you got to stick with the shorts. You got to stick with the, with the, uh, the, 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 the old school concepts. You know, you can't depart too much. And um, Del Spooner is a, is a compilation of two of the names that appeared in the, the uh, Isaac Asimov shorts so you got to stay with him you know you can't have a summer without a will smith blockbuster and this july i robot is it you know i think it's really important man it's, you know it's it's hot dogs it's hamburgers and it's big will you know that's how we do it it's, it's you know it's a part of your life and but the difference this year is i've stepped it up a notch you know i've always been able to blow stuff up you know i've always been able to fight some aliens i've always been able to do stuff like that there is a new trick for a robot respond i did not murder him not only does Smith star in the movie, but he's also one of the executive producers. So he's really pumped up for his new film. I'm bringing the thunder, baby. I'm bringing the thunder. But now let's see if iRobot strikes lightning at the box office. In New York, I'm Enrique Correa reporting for BET Nightly News. If, 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 if I don't pull it off, then... They will kill you. You got 10 minutes. In his latest film, Jamie Foxx plays a cabbie hired by Tom Cruise to drive around Los Angeles while Cruise's character takes care of some business. So while Jamie and Jada were in New York promoting their film Collateral, we went for a spin in a taxi around the Big Apple. Most of this movie's in a cab. Tell me about how that was. It was uh, incredible. I mean, to give you the genesis of it, when we were talking about doing the movie and Michael Mann was getting the cast together, and the minute he said, J and I said, are you about to say Jada Pinkett Smith? <laughs> and uh, so I'm the worst when it comes to that because it's, it's, not, it's not just that we're friends or anything like that, it's that I know she has a passion and she has something inside of it. And when people see Jada, uh, they root for her in every single category. We all bogged down in traffic right now, and you would have made yourself an extra five bucks. Yeah, when well, you keep that five bucks, probably something special. He's just so giving um, of himself creatively, and uh, he just made it easy. He made it easy because this is, it's not an easy thing to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're in a cab. I have to make a connection with someone who's driving and I'm looking at the back of his head most of the time. For the film, Jamie actually went behind the wheel of a taxi to get the feel of being a cabbie. And while filming, he got into a little fender bender that almost knocked Cruz out of commission. Yeah, I was driving the cab too fast and I ran into a car head on, man, and crazy. I was. I was in the scene, but at the same time, I knew I had like a billion dollars worth of person uh, bouncing around in the back seat with no seatbelt. And I, I heard somebody said that they got Cuba Gooden on the line. I said, Cuba, uh, we may need, have, may need to have you come down here because he's out of control. We got to make the best of it. Improvise, adapt to the environment. Darwin happens, I Ching, whatever, man. We got to roll with it. I Ching, what are you talking about, man? You threw a man out of the window. Jamie says he enjoyed working with Cruz because Tom allowed him to stretch his acting talents. Now, you can get guys that don't want you to have a high scene. Cut the now, cut that out. Uh, Tom Cruz let me eat, man. And the reason he let me eat because he said Paul Newman let him eat when he was 21. There's a man named Vincent. I got another DOA. He's already killed witnesses. He's coming to kill you. In New York, I'm Enrique Correa reporting for BET Nightly News.